Welcome everyone. In today's class, we will learn the Usanovic concept. It is one of the most important concept in acids and bases. And we have already discussed that this concept was actually established in the year of 1939 by uh, the scientist uh, Usanovic. And uh, it has a wide definition of acid and bases, which have already, which we have already discussed in the last uh, lectures or in the last video classes also. So basically in these uh, class we will learn completely the this concept and its mechanistic aspect uh, some of its application and then its advantages and disadvantages. So first we will learn what the concept is telling us or what is actually the mechanistic aspect behind the concept. So as per the mechanistic uh, as per the Usanovic concept an acid is any chemical species that can react with a base or it can accept anions or electrons or it can furnish cations. Furnish cations mean that removal of cations. So basically you can generalize in this manner that a chemical species which can react with a base. Base means that it can donate an electron pair or it has a negative charge. So basically it is accepting the anions or electrons or it is donating the positive charge cations or positive charge species. Either it will accept a negative charge species or anions or electrons. All are negative charged species or particle uh, or uh, anions or it can uh, uh, it can donate uh, positive charge species or cations so it can you can generalize in this manner and the bases are those uh, chemical species which can react with an acid just the opposite in uh, whichever we have uh, told in case of acid it can react with an acid or it can combine with cations or it can furnish anions or electrons means it can donate anions or electrons so basically in this case also you can generalize in this manner that a chemical species which can actually accept uh, which can actually accept the positive charge species or cations or which uh, which can donate the anions or electrons or the negative charge species so basically this is a generalized manner jodi arekbar bolte hoy tar ami bolchi ekta usanovic concept onujayi amra acid bolbo shei dhoroner concept shei dhoroner chemical species ke jara actually kono base er sathe react korche base mane negative charge mane actually negative charged anion othoba electron accept korte pare othoba cation othoba positive charge kichu donate korte pare ar base amra taki বলছি যারা অ্যাকচুয়ালি ক্যাটায়ন্স কে অ্যাকসেপ্ট করতে পারে অথবা কোনো পজিটিভ চার্জ কিছু অ্যাকসেপ্ট করছে অথবা কোনো অ্যানায়ন অথবা ইলেকট্রন কে ডোনেট করছে এন্ড ইন দ্য মোস্ট ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট থিং ইজ দ্যাট উই हैव ऑलरेडी ডিসকাসড ইন आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स दैट उसानोविक कांसेप्ट इज एक्चुअली रीनेम्ड एज उसानोविक डेफिनेशन बिकॉज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज डेफिनेशन बिकॉज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इट बिकम्स ट्रु इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग दिस कांसेप्ट इट विल बिकम इट विल बिकम ट्रु इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस दैट दैट्स व्हाई एक्चुअली we can tell it as usanovic definition instead of usanovic concept okay so we will we will move uh, further that we will uh, see some examples of this usanovic concept in these example or uh, in the first example we can see that Na2O is reacting with SO3 to be uh, to give Na2SO4. Okay, Na2SO4. And if you are breaking this Na2SO4, we can see that it is having the Na plus cation and SO4 to minus anion. Now, just look at this example in the generalized manner. Then you can imagine that this Na2O it is actually it is actually being converted to Na plus. So it is actually donating. It is actually donating the negative charged O2 minus. whereas this SO3 is actually being converted to SO4 2 minus so you can imagine that SO3 is actually accepting the negative charged O2 minus okay so now as per the usanovic definition you can named any two as a base because it is donating the oxide ion or donating a negative charged ion or donating the negative uh, anion or O2 minus anion whereas SO3 uh, can be named as an acid because it is actually accepting that negative charge ion or the o2 minus ion or the 
ऑक्साइड आयोन एज द ऑक्साइड आयोन इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो एस ओ थ्री कैन बी रिनेम्ड एज एसिड एज पर द उसनोविक डेफिनेशन ओके इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो दिस एन एच फोर टू एस इट इज एक्चुअली बींग कन्वर्टेड टू एन एच फोर प्लस सो यू कैन इमेज इन दैट इट इज डोनेटिंग द नेगेटिव चार्ज सल्फाइड और नेगेटिव चार्ज एस टू माइनस आयोन इट इज एक्चुअली एन एन आयोन सो दे आर फोर इट इज बिहेविंग एज अ बेस एज पर द उसनोविक डेफिनेशन वेर एज दिस एस बी टू एस फाइव द सॉल्ट ऑफ एंटीमोनी इट इज एक्चुअली बिहेविंग एज एन एसिड बिकॉज इट इज एक्चुअली एक्सेप्टिंग दैट एन आयोन और द नेगेटिवली चार्ज एन आयोन एस टू माइनस और सल्फाइड बट इन द नेक्स्ट केस और इन द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी दैट एन ए इज एक्चुअली बींग कन्वर्टेड टू एन ए प्लस और सी एल टू इज बींग कन्वर्टेड टू सी एल माइनस वेर एज द सॉल्ट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन एस एल सो इफ यू आर ब्रेकिंग एन एस एल यू कैन इमेजिन दैट इन एन एस एल एन ए इज पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एंड सी एल माइनस सी एल इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो इट इज एक्चुअली द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ एन ए प्लस कैटाउन एंड सी एल माइनस एन एन सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल एक्चुअली एन ए इज कन्वर्टेड और सोडियम इज बींग कन्वर्टेड टू एन ए प्लस एंड दिस सी एल टू और क्लोरिन इज बींग कन्वर्टेड टू सी एल माइनस सो बेसिकली हियर द सोडियम इज एक्चुअली डोनेटिंग एन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज कैटाइन एंड इन दिस रिएक्शन क्लोरिन इज एक्चुअली एक्सेप्टिंग दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सी एल माइनस आय सो इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन्स एक्चुअली इट इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज राइट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एक्चुअली नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो दे आर फोर एज पर द जेनरल कंसेप्ट और एज पर द जेनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ उसनोविक सोडियम कैन बी रिगार्डेड एज अ बेस एज इट इज डोनेटिंग द नेगेटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड क्लोरिन कैन बी रिगार्डेड एज एन एसिड एज इट इज एक्सेप्टिंग दैट नेगेटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन so we'll move further to have some more examples in this example in the first example here also this na2o can be regarded as a base as it is actually donating an o2 minus ion whereas so2 can be regarded as an acid whereas it is accepting as an as uh, accepting the anion ox uh, uh, o2 minus or it it can accept that uh, oxide anion now we should uh, Uh, point out here about the other definitions or other concepts which we have already learned in the earlier slides that as per the last flat theory the first example can also be defined okay why because na2o is actually donating the anion which is actually oxide and as per the lux plot theory an acid is an acceptor of oxide ion and a base is a donor of oxide ion so na2o what is actually na2o it is actually a donor of oxide ion as it is a donor of oxide ion it can be regarded as a base as per the lux plot theory or it can be renamed as a lux plot base and so2 is actually and behaving as an acceptor of this o2 minus ion or acceptor of oxide ion so it can be regarded as a lux plot acid so in the the example can be defined as per the lux plot theory also the example can also be defined as per the usanovic concept in any concept you can define this example okay so actually usanovic concept is a generalized concept it doesn't uh, point out whether it is a lewis acid based concept or whether it is a lux plot concept it is actually a generalized concept in at, uh, as per this concept Uh, this Na2O is uh, is uh, actually donating the negative charged anion, which is becomes uh, which is actually an oxide. So therefore, Na2O will be a base as per the Usanovic concept, and SO2 or SO2 actually is accepting that O2 minus ion or that uh, anion negatively charged ion. So therefore, SO2 can be uh, regarded as an acid as per the usanovic concept so now we will move into the last example which is actually fcn2 is reacting with uh, kcn to be converted into k4 fcn6 or potassium ferrocyanide so now if you are breaking this k4 fcn6 you can see that there are k plus ion and in the uh, coordination sphere it is having fcn6 uh, 4 minus okay so this is having 4k plus ion and fcn6 4 minus so now look at the reactant side okay if you are looking at the reactant side then you can 
imagine that this k c n b is being converted to k plus and if c n two is being converted to f c n six four minus so k c n b is con is being converted to k plus means that this k c n is actually donating the anions which is actually cyanide or it is donating the negatively charged ion or donating the anion cyanide so therefore k c n can be regarded as a base as per the regate as per the usanovic concept why because it is donating a uh, negative negatively charged ion right as it uh, donates the negative charge negatively charged ion it can be regarded as a base as per the usanovi concept whereas fecn2 is actually accepting that cn minus ion it is actually accepting that cn minus ion as it is accepting the cn minus ion or as it is accepting the anion or as it is accepting the negative charge C uh, cyanide ion so therefore it can be regarded as an acid as per the usanovic concept or as per the usanovic definition so actually these are the examples there can be several examples which can be uh, means uh, regarded as per uh, as per the uh, which can be regarded acids and bases as per, as per the usanovic definition you can uh, do uh, 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 these as your homework uh, just uh, uh, look at some uh, different uh, acid based reactions and uh, try to figure it out through usanovic concept so we'll move further through some consideration of usanovic concept so as per the usanovic concept along the period if you are going from left to right the acidity of that elements actually increases mane ki amra jodi kono period er ba dik theke dan dike jai tole amra bolbo sei element er actually acidity increase kore and that this is actually the consideration of usanovic concept amar example bole bolche ki je na2o is strongly basic whereas cl2o7 is strongly acidic eta jodi amra ektu mechanistically bhabi tahole bhaba jay dekho je if you are moving from along a period from left to right actually the z star or the effective nuclear charge increases and the radii decreases the effective nuclear charge increases and the radii decreases and both the parameter is actually just uh, increasing the ionic potential or the polarizing power now if the ionic potential or the polarizing power is increasing then definitely the covalent overlap will be increased is uh, right if the ionic potential or the polarizing power is being increased definitely the covalent overlap or degree of covalency will be increased so therefore if you are moving from uh, left to right along a period you can imagine that at the right hand side of the period the degree of covalency will be large and the left hand side of the period the degree of covalency will be small so therefore if the degree of covalency will be small then that can be regarded as more ionic so therefore the na2o can be regarded as more ionic or cl2o7 can be regarded as less ionic or more covalent now if it uh, if na2o is becomes a uh, more ionic then definitely it uh, it will try to be dissociated as na plus and o2 minus now if it is releasing o2 minus in the aqueous medium then these o2 minus can react with these water molecules to give 2oh minus which is actually the uh, which is actually basic in nature so therefore na2o is strongly basic whereas cl2o7 is strongly acidic ami ara ekbar bolchi ekdom sohoj bhabe bolte gele kono ekta period e jodi amra ba dik theke dan dike jai tahole amar acidity of that element actually increase hoy keno increase hoye increase korche tar jonno amra jodi boli je amra kono period e jodi ba dik theke dan dike jai tahole amar effective nuclear charge bare ebong radii kome and both the parameter actually influence korche ionic potential othoba polarizing power ke karon ionic potential othoba polarizing power tahole amar bere jacche ionic potential othoba polarizing power jodi bare tahole amar degree of covalency barche degree of covalency tahole kon dike beshi amar period e dan dike ar ba dike amar degree of covalency kom tahole ba dike je elements gulo ache tader je compound taderke amra bolte pari more mane more ionic more prone to be रिलीज करते चाहिए
okay and uh, as per the group if you are moving uh, as as uh, along the group from top to bottom then the basic character of the element increases or the acidic character of the element decreases why because of the same reason see that if you are moving from top to bottom along a group then the metallic character then the metallic character actually increases down the group so the metallic character will be highest in case of the heavier atoms where the metallic character will be lowest in case of the lighter atoms this is a generalized fact or generalized manner so therefore if you are comparing comparing between these uh, arsenic and antimony so antimony is placed just below of the arsenic so therefore it is being a heavier metal so it is if it is becoming a heavier metal therefore it will have a greater metallic character so if it is having a greater metallic character so it will try to be dissociated in this manner that 2 sb3 plus uh, 2 sb3 plus and 3o2 minus because it is more uh, it is having more metallic character so if this arsenic is having the less metallic character so it will try to hold this o2 minus with itself but sb2o3 is having the greater metallic character so therefore it will try to become sb3 plus and o2 minus and if it is releasing this o2 minus in the medium it can react with this h2o to give oh minus or the hydroxyl ion which is actually basic in nature so therefore the along the group the uh, along the group if you are moving from top to bottom the acidity of the elements actually decreases uh, whereas the basicity of the element or the basic character of the element increases down the group okay so there are uh, some other considerations also that is the high charge of cations favors acidic property like Na2O versus Al2O3 which we have already discussed in the previous uh, slides also. It, it, it is almost a similar thing which we have already discussed and the high charge anions promote basic property. High charge anions mean that the negative charge density and if the negative charge density is more then it is having the more chance to donate or it is having it is the negative charge if the negative charge density is more then it is more prone to be donated it is having uh, the more availability to donate so therefore the basic property will be definitely increased so there are some other considerations like the coordination and saturation so we will look into this uh, uh, more uh, uh, try to figure out uh, in a more convenient way that coordination and saturation what does it mean what does it mean that coordination and saturation see that if uh, the carbon atom should have the four bonds uh, along with it right so it is uh, then if it is having total three bonds then we can see that we can um, means it, it is having the coordination of four maximum coordination of a carbon can be four okay so now if a carbon atom having the coordination number three then we can see that the carbon atom is coordinatively unsaturated if the carbon atom is having only two coordination number then we can uh, tell that this carbon is having coordinatively unsaturated or the carbon atom is a uh, being coordinatively unsaturated now if we are having an example of sulfur sulfur having a maximum coordination number of six now if sulfur is having total coordination number equals to six then we can say that this sulfur is actually coordinated coordinatively saturated it is actually coordinatively saturated but, but for example you can say that this sulfur is having only four uh, coordination number it is having the four coordination number then we can tell these that the sulfur is coordinatively unsaturated for example this is o3 so this so3 means that there are three sulfur oxygen double bonds uh, um, uh, in these uh, there, there are three to total three sulfur oxygen double bonds so this sulfur atom is having coordination number equals to 3. So, this sulfur in SO3 is actually coordinatively unsaturated. So, now we can actually accept one oxide ion to become SO4 2 minus. So, this coordinative unsaturation can also play a role in this Usanovic concept. So, if it is coordinatively unsaturated, then it can accept an anion and can act as an acid. But, for example, in case of SF6. 
so it is these sulfur is actually electron deficient due to the presence of six electron negative fluorine atoms it is having very high electron deficiency but it cannot uh, react with another f minus ions why because it is actually coordinatively saturated as it has already gained the maximum coordination number which is six whereas in case of sf4 it can accept one f minus ion to be sf5 or it can accept two f minus ion to be sf6 2 minus why because the sulfur atom in sf4 having the coordination number equals to 4 and it is actually coordinatively unsaturated so therefore it can further accept an f minus ion and can act can act as an acid whereas in case of sf6 whether it is being more electron deficient than sf4 still it cannot accept another f minus ion as it has already achieved its maximum coordination number which is 6 and it can be regarded as coordinatively unsaturated sorry coordinatively saturated arekbar jodi bolte hoy tale coordinatively saturated mane ki jar maximum coordination number joto hote pare seta jodi tar modhe thake tale shei hocche coordinatively saturated hoye gelo jodi totora level obdi na pouchhate pare tale amra take bolbo coordinatively unsaturated for example jeta amra bollam कार्बन क्षेत्र में मैक्सिमाम कोअर्डिनेशन देखे चार अब्दि जो पे तदि कारो कोअर्डिनेशन नंबर चार थे तेल से कोअर्डिनेटिवलि सैचुरेटेड जो चार कम थे तेल्ते कोअर्डिनेटिवलि अनसैचुरेटेड एर से सेम एक्साम्पल हिसाब से बोलते सालफारे क्षेत्र में सालफार डाइक्साइड अथवा सालफार ट्राइक्साइड ए क्षेत्र में जो कोअर्डिनेशन नम्बर दुई अथवा तीन थे सालफारे मैक्सिमाम कोअर्डिनेशन नम्बर छय अब्दि जी जो पे कि जेहतु तरह दुई अथवा तीन आदि फार्दार द्वारा और एक एनायन एक्सेप्ट कर मैक्सिमाम Usanovic concept. So now we will look into some advantages of this concept. So as per this concept, different chemical reactions can be considered as acid-base reactions. And in most of the case, actually, it is very much generalized acid-base theories. Okay, generalized acid-base theories means that most of the chemical reactions, jato amader chemical reactions achhe, and in most of the cases that can be considered as acid-base. Amra shob gulo ki acid-base jabe dhore nite pari, vong shei jabe amra kei backa korte pari. Eta hi hoche er shob डोनारेसेप्टी लुइज बेसिड बेस 
এখানে একটা জেনারেলাইজড ফ্যাক্টর চলে এলো আমরা সেখানে কোনো একটা লুইস অ্যাসিড অথবা কোনোটাকে একটা লুইস বেস অথবা সেটা লাক্সপ্রাট অ্যাসিড অথবা লাক্সপ্রাস বেস বেস এই হিসাবে কিন্তু আমরা কোনো পার্টিকুলার অ্যাসিড বেস एरकम भाव से बीची ना मैं को कम्पाउंड के पार्टिकुलार नाम हिसाब से पार्टिकुलार डेफिनेशन हिसाब से उल्लेख करा से ही क्षेत्र में एक प्रब्लेम हो जाए एकदम इन जेनरल से असिड बेस दीते ओके सो दिज आर डिफारेंट एडभान्टेजेस एंड डिसएडभान्टेजेस सो इन दिस क्लस एक्चुअल उव लार्न द उसानविक कन्सेप्ट इट्स मेकानिस्टिक एसपेक्ट डिफारेंट एक्साम्पल्स it's it is having some applications which we have already covered in the slides and it's some disadvantages and advantages including the considerations also so in the next class we'll look into the solvent system concept just uh, read these uh, uh, read these class notes uh, 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 systematically or uh, just uh, go through these video lectures and if you are having any problem regarding this class you can uh, just uh, contact us at ns institute through the website www.nsinstitute.com or you can drop an mail at nsinstitute@gmail.com or you can directly calls us whatsapp us or message in the given number okay so thank you for the uh, class see you in the next class